Hello, welcome back to Vanessa Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create a procedural texture using Sphere Chops for something that you can actually use with um, Umog for the growth node. So in the end, you can kind of generate this kind of um, animation. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get started from scratch. Uh, hopefully it doesn't crash. Uh, so file, save as, this is SV and Umog. And let's try. So first of all, we're gonna need to have like a procedural texture. And for that, the easiest to create is to start with something like a noise. So vector noise or turbulence. In this case, I will be using turbulence. So with turbulence, in order to generate a texture, we will need a texture viewer. And also we'll need some kind of input for the noise. So the input's gonna be, uh, for simplicity, just use plane. Plug this in and plug the scalar into this guy, and then this should generate noise. But <clears throat> let's make it like, um, for this example, maybe 256 by 256. So it's a rather small. So 256 by 256. And then we can't see the noise at the moment. We need to perhaps center and normalize our plane for turbulence. So now we have a result. And this noise, I believe, if we switch to vector, it's gonna be like RGB. But for now, we just uh, keep with a black and white or grayscale texture. So you can you can play around with all these attributes and see how things are being generated and yeah there's a lot of noise you can play around with Voronoi of course the famous one to get a, like a bubbly kind of result let's try yeah this one I think the simplest one and then for this to register to Blender because sometimes uh, I think if I switch to Umog now and then and maybe we create a, uh, a plane and then do like a subdivision and I think F6 we can increase the subdivisions and then subdivide again now we have a mesh we can use um, Objects and then displacement. Grab our objects. Let's get our texture. So our texture didn't show up. So in order for our texture to show up, I believe. Um, so sometimes uh, it can be kind of tricky. Let's go back to Sphere Chalk and then here we're gonna turn on pass. So it's gonna pass it as an image texture down here and even so the texture doesn't show up yet let me try saving it i'm gonna save it as texture number one and still it didn't register with blender so sometimes i in order for it, the texture to register to blender i just create a material and i believe create a material like this and then just grab our texture and then now it should register so we can plug this into Umog and then we can play around with it oh you can see there's a UI weirdness happening uh, just reload the file that's because of OpenGL or OpenCL anyhow so we have our setup ready let's do a 10 times chain reaction for our displacement and see what it what we got so bake oh did i just press playback okay should press bake and then look at this thing working for us it took around five seconds and we got this result let's duplicate it save reload still okay now we can animate our displacement 
So that's pretty easy, right? Pretty cool. Um, let's try actually doing this into a different object. Let's try a cube. Let's do the, um, the classic example again. So we have this guy. Let's uh, subdivide it again. Simple this time. Apply. So we have enough resolution. It's kind of low resolution, but that's okay. And let's do this. Let's use the fancy thing like a uh, face. Find the sharp, sharp faces, for example, and then do the subdivision based on the on the sharp faces. So plug this into that guy. Find an angle like 45, actually 60. The weight. Leave it as it is. So this cube can go there. The sharp face is gonna be the vertex weight. And this is gonna be our sharp faces weight. Okay, I think our setup is ready. So basically it's gonna observe this 3D mesh, find the sharp faces based on this angle, and then it's gonna create vertex weight. Wonder if we can look at the vertex weight. Maybe we can't see it yet. But anyhow let's see and bake it edit object not found edit object not found that's interesting well it's definitely doing something to our objects <laughs> so yeah this is the result of mixing this texture with umog and finding a sharp faces and then as a result we get this And there you go, you got some kind of explosion growth. It's kind of interesting. Totally it's unusual. And uh, at this point, as pointed out by Umov developer, we can use corrective smooth and try to get kind of a smoother result. We can actually see we got the sharp faces thing. If you look at the weight pane, I think that's the sharp faces basically, the one with in red color. And increase the factor or increase the repeat. You can also use smooth, smooth fast. You can then use subdivision if you like. So this one is a a bit heavy. Yeah, a bit, a bit unusual. Interpolation to linear, and then we can animate that. So yeah, but here, we are not stopping here because our texture is procedural and hopefully this works as intended. Back to spread job. We don't have our node tree, that's interesting. Yeah, it seems like we, we lost our node tree to generate the texture. That's very interesting. But uh, yeah, you can always make changes to the texture here. And it's going to be updated. And then you can quickly create, uh, you, you can see the result over here. So yeah, unfortunately, our vector noise is just has disappeared. That's weird. Yeah, I guess it's, it's always a good idea to click on the F so that you can save the texture. I can try generating again, uh, turbulence. And create a plane, center normalize. Let's make it ZX. Scalar, texture viewer. Pass use and this one's let's make it 256 256 and this noise should generate new noise okay 
let's try a cell noise frequency small number actually make it a bit larger and see how this works with our plane over here okay we have something um, yeah let's try this one so we get something to work on and then turn on the F so it's gonna save the data the node tree this is text generator now switch to umog this guy get our plane get our texture fine bake it oh yeah it crashes but it's okay I already save it before I do that so file umog and try baking it again plane textures texture from spread chalk and hopefully this works it says edit object not found there's something going on there now we got something so this generate the result based on the this cell texture so I think this is quite interesting actually I'm surprised that we get a uh, this result it's actually quite nice even though this is still still really basic you know this is like a basic texture you can mix and match texture you can layer it get some all kind of wild result but I, I quite I'm quite happy with this one <clears throat> excuse me and uh, yeah whenever you like you can always use corrective smooth and this will smoothen our result and you get a uh, some kind of like a terrain there so yeah it's a it's an interesting workflow right it, it, it's a kind of new in blender if you lo look at it normally you can you can definitely achieve this using displace modifier if you do it many many times and then and then you you use another texture to displace it use like a micro displacement but the inter what's interesting about this guy is that because because we are using the sharp face and subdivide if you look at this guy properly uh, in edit mode this is actually made of subdivided small parts so this is almost like a dynamic displacement it's doing funky things with a with a plane and so as a result you get that which is pretty awesome and this one here you go yeah this is of course all this thing is still experimental but uh try it anyway as so you can generate texture procedurally using spread chop for example or make your own texture um, there are many ways to generate textures nowadays uh, but give this a try let me know let me know what you create or if you have any questions and let's see what we can create with this thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye